Its name means a place beyond the known world. An Ultima Thule, shown in this artist's rendering, is just that. An object, most likely a rock, more than six and a half billion kilometers from the sun. Because it's so far from the sun, and the sunlight is so weak out there, um, uh, temperatures are down near absolute zero. And as a result of that, um, chemical reactions uh, are essentially frozen. Uh, so the object is in such a deep freeze that it's perfectly preserved from its original formation. Essentially, a dinosaur from the beginning of our solar system frozen in time. Scientists didn't even know it existed until the Hubble Space Telescope spotted Ultima Thule four and a half years ago. It's beyond Pluto in the Kuiper belt at the edge of our solar system. Until now, Ultima Thule has been seen as nothing but a speck of light shaped like an elongated potato. It's taken NASA's New Horizons spacecraft nearly 13 years to get this close, within 3,500 kilometers of the object. Go New Horizons! And though the flyover happened at exactly 533 GMT, the scientific team that celebrated the moment like a second new year at the Applied Physics Lab of Johns Hopkins University has to wait longer before the big payoff of high-resolution photos and data is delivered. Those signals are now traversing space and will begin arriving in the next few days. Everything that we're going to learn about Ultima, from its composition to its geology to how it was originally assembled, whether it has satellites and atmosphere or those kinds of things are going to teach us about the original formation conditions of objects in the solar system. Tuesday morning brought a promising sign. We have a healthy spacecraft. We've just accomplished the most distant flyby. A phone home message from the New Horizon to tell scientists it successfully survived the flyby. To help hasten the wait, here's the mission's own theme music, written by astrophysicist and New Horizons team member Brian May, also the lead guitarist of the band Queen. Is Ultima Thule one long rock, or two that are touching? Does it have ice or craters? The answers will be clues to understanding the origins of our solar system. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.